I'm excited. All right. So uh, we have a theme song, but I cut nice. my co-host out. If you could say your name, Good. I'll overlay your name where his name normally goes. Okay, tell me one. Just any time. I'll, I'll edit this all later. So, Johnny later. Oh no, no, don't say no. That's not me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'll, I'll do it again. Sorry. Yeah, you're good. John. Johnny now. And Alan talking about movies. They may be best friends, but they always disagree. Johnny now. And Alan. So, Johnny, I found you on Twitch, was it about 18 days ago now? Oh, my God, I know. You You are a day one. You've been there since <clears> the beginning, my friend, and thank you for that. You You decided you wanted to put yourself in a cage in your living room, correct? Yes, yes. And the reason for that is that I had lost my willpower. I was eating horrific amounts of fast food. My Coke Zero addiction had gone too far. So I came up with a 30-day self-improvement program called Into the Cage, Free Yourself from Within. And the whole purpose is to get out of this mental cage that I've created and get myself into a physical cage. And it's working, my friend. Um, I, So that, I've always been a little confused by that idea of getting yourself out of a mental cage and putting yourself into a physical cage because cages... A mental cage seems like a bad thing in your perspective. Well, I'm telling you, I would smoke that, you know, bad stuff every single day. And I would go to the gas station and spend 30 to $40 every single day with my good friend Abdallah down at the gas station. And trust me, I don't blame Abdallah. He's a nice guy. He's just trying to build a home back in Pakistan. And I'm glad I could help out. But I like the mental cage I was in mm. was like my inability to just not go and get uh, Doritos every single night, Coke Zero every single night. And I was going to die. I was going to die. Yeah. I was going to get diabetes. Sweet blood. You can say meth. It's okay. Um, so you, the, you don't need to hide that from everyone. I know. I know. I know. If you, I say this, if you have a serious addiction, do not put yourself in a cage. Put yourself in a doctor's office. Yes, that's good. So, pretty, pretty well. Okay. What do you know about The Truman Show? Because we were talking before uh, we started. Isn't it like a, and I was thinking maybe if you can recap it, since you hadn't seen it, it's probably the best way to get fans of the show to really enjoy it. Oh, okay. So uh, they film this guy and he like does, and then he doesn't know he's being filmed. And uh, then like, he pro I don't, I didn't see it, but he probably has like an existential thing. And I, that's a big word, but uh, he like probably figures out like, ah, everything's a lie. Yeah, basically. Right? Yeah. He so from yeah. a baby he's adopted as a baby from a corporation and put into this Oh the, really? Yeah, he's on an island that they created and they they manufacture this whole world. You all right? And and they film him. Yeah, yeah. I was uh, the heater just turned on, so uh -oh. I was telling my handler to um, gotcha. Yeah, so they manufacture this whole world. You know what? It's kind of interesting that you said that because in a way so I, I am uh, anti big soda. This movement of mine has created, has become a protest thing against um, a protest movement against big soda. So that's really interesting because in a way I started eating Doritos and drinking pop at a very young age. And in a way I feel like I was also adopted by a major corporation. <laughs> How do you, that's true. I do think that's true. You think you were adopted by what's up? Nice. Well, Mike. I mean like metaphorically, yeah, yeah, no, I figured, I didn't think you actually thought you were adopted by him. Yeah, I mean, like, I feel like they prey on children and uh, in a way, and they're not watch. I mean, okay, it's a bad comparison, but so uh, what happens in the end? Or does so, that ruin it? No, 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 we're fine. We can talk about the end. So he he's adopted as a child, grows up in this world that's all manufactured. They use everything around him to try to scare him, right? Because it's, it's an island. It's surrounded by water. They kill his dad in front of him in the on a boat or a fishing trip, so he's that rules. So he's always of terrified of getting out on the water, and then they have like posters in travel agents' office that is like a plane getting struck by lightning, and it says like it can happen to you. Just trying to control him to stay in his own world. He Holy. starts, <laughs> yeah, it's it's intense. Uh, he starts realizing yeah, that uh, things are adding up weird because. 
they'll do like ad spots in the middle of the the show but they don't do trailers so or commercials so someone will just hold something up and be like oh this is really good for you this is great and he's like who are you talking to yeah uh, that is okay so he begins to realize that makes sense so wait who who came what came first the matrix or this who ripped off who because uh, isn't that kind of the same thing like an artificial world i'm pretty sure this came before the matrix you hear that wachowski sisters you're plagiarist <laughs> I, but i don't know if they quite quite relate it sounds sounds like the same movie to me the whole fake world uh, the one um so what uh so he begins to realize and then what happens does he fall in love every movie has like a love thing right yeah so that's kind of the inciting incident is that he falls in love with this girl in high school she is not really with the program and so he's like pursuing her and she like is trying to give him hints so they take her out and he's wait not w- not with the program like mentally or not with like the pro- like- program of the show oh okay i was like that's a whole other level of like date okay yeah okay okay so she's that's so weird so he goes to like a regular high school when yeah when he's a kid so jim carrey is the main character and he's an adult at this point but in high school oh my god how annoying is jim carrey now Can uh we talk now about that for a hot second? yeah now oh, he's super annoying art thing oh my god he was the funniest guy in the world and a proud canadian that we he was going to be on a stamp one day and now this whole ugh, enough jimmy uh, so Keaton says that this movie was so boring. He watched it after five minutes. I think you have a bad taste in movies, sir. Keaton, that Keaton is a very, very angry man. I think <laughs> nice guy. Uh, and nice um, bike so says five minutes. My nice bike said that Matthew McConaughey made a movie that was pretty much the Truman Show copy. I don't know what that one was, but, um, was that the one where he had AIDS? Uh, no cowboys dallas buyers club no okay. no that's not i missed that one too but i heard it was good it's on my list um what's your favorite movie my favorite movie i don't really have a favorite movie um i there's a few yeah. that I, I enjoy from like high school because of nostalgia so like fight club good fellas not good oh, good fellas yeah i mean uh fight club is good that's fight, that's a good one fight club terminator 2 like those movies i just love rocky um Oh yeah, since, classics. Since being young, but they they're not like ones that I would want to sit down and watch. And then now, oh, I know. Most of the time when I watch something it's kind of Oh, Ed TV, yeah, that's right. Um now when oh, I watch okay. something I'm a little too critical. And so it's like oh, I, I always find things that annoy me. Dude, I, that's the thing. I can't watch movies anymore because I just hate them so much. I can't suspend reality anymore. I don't know what's wrong. And if I watch any of my old movies, I just hate them too. Yeah, Fight Club holds up. The only problem is when the buildings come down at the end, it like it looks like a PC, like a the Windows ninety five thing. Oh, that's yeah. the only thing I can say I don't like about it. But um, yeah, I, it, it, that's the problem. We become old men. Yeah. Right. We're yeah, angry old men. Yeah. Did you watch the movie Grumpy Old Men? Was that good? Um, it's all right. It's like a comedy. It's uh it's uh oh my God. Have you seen it? Or are you just asking for No, no, I was just wondering. I was you know what I've been doing? <laughs> and oh my god, my sister here he get hates it so much. Sister wife, um, and like I said in the book, chapter two, into the cage for yourself and within, you have to have a handler. So this is my sister, and we go to movies all the time, and like for the last two years. <laughs> I've been walking out of movies like a lunatic. Like I just, I walked out of uh, Black Mass. Black was, Mass? Oh, black, uh, no, that sounds like a minstrel show. Black Mass with Johnny Depp. Oh. Uh, I was like, and I love gangster movies. I yeah. walked out of that one. I went and well, saw Trainwreck. Talk about a train wreck. Yeah, you're watching bad movies. I could have told you that before oh. you went into the theater. Johnny Depp is terrible consistently. Dude, I don't. I don't want to get sued by Johnny Depp, but like I went, okay, I'm getting older. I'm 30. I take a shower. It looks like a weasel in my drain now, right? I'm going bald. My dad went bald at 18, whatever. I think you need to, if you go bald, you should be proud of yourselves. I look at Johnny Depp in every movie and you tell me he's not wearing a weave. Oh yeah, he is for sure. Even in life, real life. And if Johnny Depp, Maybe. and I don't know if you're bald, please don't sue me, but Johnny, listen to me, my friend, Johnny. If you are 
actual bald, you would do so much for the bald community as like, you'd be a beacon of hope. And no, you wear a weave. What? Oh my God, it's disgusting. Well, his just whole life is disgusting. That's more of the problem. Yeah, and he beat up Amber Heard. Oh, nah, I don't know. I don't know about that. Well, that's the, that was a, allegedly allegedly. Yeah. How could you beat up a flower? It's like picking a picking a rose and throwing it in the middle of the highway. But <laughs> back to the Truman Show. What would you give it out of a ten rating uh, or tr- five star rating? Truman Show is really really good. Um, it's one of Jim Carrey's better movies. It's a more dramatic role than comedic. Um, I'd probably the mask. Yeah, I I don't like goofy comedies like that. It's not really mine. Well, you don't like The Mask? No, it's Cuban all Pete? it's all fart sounds and loud noises. It's there's not a oh lot my of. God, that sounds like my brain. <laughs> yeah, there's not a lot of depth oh. depth to The Mask. Did, did you like uh, um, Eternal Sunshine of the? It was okay. I, I enjoyed it the first time, and then the second time I watched it, it was kind of exhausting. Yeah, I learned a new word the other day, contrived. Contrived, It's yeah. kind of contrived, right? Yeah. That's, um, that means like forced? Yeah, forced. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, I could see that. It. I don't know if I would go that far, but the there's a lot you have to accept to like really get on board with internal, eternal sunshine of the spotless mind. Yeah, you got to really, yeah, you got to be into deleting memories yeah. or something. Um, but I would love that. Oh, my God. I'd get rid of my childhood. Um, most I'd probably like delete everything up until like 18 days ago. The uh, oh, thanks for the follow. I don't My memories. Know, something screwed up here. I didn't see that, but the um, everybody make sure to follow. I seen that you can listen to the other side. Uh, I don't know how my viewers went up, <laughs> but go watch. I seen that so you can see that. They probably think you're talking to someone outside your cage based on your camera. Angle. Oh, it looks like you're just talking to uh, someone off screen. Oh my God, everybody hates my camera. Did you see that date I went on? Oh no, I missed that. You do most I of your streams. Like most of your streams are why I'm sleeping. Oh, I know. Because, yeah, you, we, can we say your location on the podcast? Yeah, yeah. I, the, no, no, I say it all the time. It's in Thailand. Oh my gosh. I, dude, we want to move there. It's We're pretty ready cool. to go. It's a nice place. The, uh, it depends we can do on face to face. It depends on where you live. Like, Bangkok is a giant city. It can take you about an hour and a half to drive from one end to the other without traffic. And it's then it gets packed. Oh. And it's just, it's not a lot of fun to be there. You're, a, you're not in the big city, though. You, you're in no. rural, right? Yeah, we're in a really small town. Um, I'm a small town boy myself. So I, I don't, yeah, I, I, don't, I wouldn't want to go to Bangkok. I want to go. It looks great. Yeah, it no, looks, it, it's, it looks awesome. It's beautiful. There's some times of the year where it's kind of gross because they burn all the fields and stuff, and so you oh can't God, breathe. Was or there anything. a war? No, the farms. What is it? A war? The farms. Oh, they grow the crops. Why do they then, burn them? That's because sounds- they get rid of all the the chaff from stuff like all the leftover. They burn it all so they can replant, and it's oh. terrible for the soil it's- and it's terrible for the environment. But no one. Not, yeah, it sounds like it. it- yeah, I, they don't light fields on fire here. That's weird. Oh, well, you know, I, I don't judge anyone. I love yeah. everyone. So Thailand, you get an A plus for me. But if we do this, we can watch Truman Show together. There you go. So, yeah, I was you are asking what I would rate Truman Show. I'd probably give it like a 7. Um, 7 out nice. of 10, somewhere around there. I, it's definitely I not perfect, see. but it's, it's, it's really good. It's got like a 94 on Rotten Tomatoes still. It's got one of the highest oh, rankings on IMDb. Didn't Ghostbusters get 1,000? So uh, that's it, it goes to a hundred, I think. But oh, okay. What what is a perfect flick to you? Perfect. Um, let me think. It. I don't know. It's a hard question because there's so many. It's all. It's all different, right? What would you say is your perfect film? A gangster, oh Goodfellas. Well, good, Goodfellas. I watch that on repeat constantly. But you know what? Uh, you know. Casino is up there as well. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, I, you know, but if you're taking a date, you, you take it to Goodfellas. It's a little shorter, less, it's a little more fun for the girls, you know? Um, <laughs> it sounds like a terrible so date Goodfellas, movie. Pardon me? Oh, terrible humor. Yeah. Well, you know, it's a no, test, right? You know, date you, movie. Yeah. It's actually a bad date movie. What? Do I have a favorite movie? I'm trying to ask me. Yeah. It's hard. So for me, that. <laughs> she said Casino and Goodfellas. She's. <laughs> <laughs> 
What's the other Scorsese one? The Departed. The, 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 the Departed. Yeah, that one's good. I like that one. When I, that first came out, some guy said, I don't like it. It's too updated. Like, I don't like cell phones. But And I was like, dude, shut up. But now it's like outdated because it's all flip phones and it like is even better. Like yeah. a fine wine. Yeah, it's hard for me to pick one um, as like my top because it's all subjective to my mood. You know, like, do I want to watch an action? Do I want to watch a comedy? Do I want to watch a drama? Um, like right now, the one that I'm probably most excited at the prospect of watching would I would say Mad Max Fury Road. Like that's oh really? Yeah, have you seen that? No, no, I it, it, I can't do fantasy. I I'm, I'm I'm the I don't know why you're interviewing me. I'm the dumbest guy in the world when it comes to movies. But uh, I'm excited for White Boy Rick. Have you seen the trailer for that? No. Oh my God, Matthew McConaughey. It's a gangster movie. Oh okay, yeah, <laughs> Matthew McConaughey is great. Did you watch True Detective? Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, that was so good. I even like had to pretend i would we had like a sh- uh like a final episode party yeah and i even pretended i knew what was like the, what the ending meant but i didn't until i read like 20 f- different forums and yeah. i still don't i'm not, still not sure if i understand it but it was so good <laughs> yeah it's very good oh my god it's so good uh um, kate wants to know about uh pulp fiction i have not seen it i don't really care for uh quentin Tarantino. you've never seen pulp fiction Mm-mm. i don't like i've seen most of his movies but they're all uh Kind of bad. The same. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, Pulp Fiction to me is like a like one of those first bad movies I watched like when I was a kid. Like like they swore and stuff and you saw like a boob. Yeah. So like I have that nostalgia for it, but I yeah, haven't yeah. watched it in years. Yeah. But uh, I don't know. Uh, my sis here wants to watch Django. I saw it once in theaters. You know, J- whatever. I don't want to watch it again. Django's all right. Um, it's not. It's yeah, It's weird. It's like. He plays with the idea of race or slavery, so he can say the N word a lot. And oh my so, god! I, I I was I was worried. That I had to take a plane. I saw it, and then I had to take a plane the next day, mm-hmm. and I was worried about going to sleep on the plane because I thought I was going to blurt it out because I heard it so many times the day before. Like, oh my god! You're <laughs> right. It really was ja- daunting. Yeah. Um, but uh, you had not- you had mentioned earlier no. that you're writing a book. I wanted to talk to you about that a little bit. Oh, hit me with it, baby. Into the into the cage, free yourself from within. 69 chapters of uh, wisdom from within the walls. Like I'm writing it because uh, I, I really think this program could take off because there has to be more people out there who suffer from this, uh, you know, same element ailment that I have. Like I'm not the only one who comes home and just sucks on that bowl and uh, puts on Brozark for six hours in front of Netflix. I Netflix and chill with myself and just gorge myself. I throw up sometimes. I've actually eaten like recently until I've thrown up. Like I eat the shawarma pizza, the white sauce just dripping down my mouth. It's disgusting. So the book I, the, well, obviously is going to be written on my experience in the cage. I'm at day 18 now. So I think, I, I think it's just going to be filled with the, uh, with wonder and let's hope who knows it's not coming out i promise it's not coming out if i fail at this yeah yeah so that was one of my questions Mm -hmm. is you decided to write the book before you started the program right yeah i thought maybe i'd write it well in here but uh Mm -hmm. lately i've just been talking to the chat for 16 hours a day which uh but i you know i'm a bit of a jay-z so it's all up there in the dome i've always considered you a jay-z johnny i've always felt like a jay-z type (laughs) of fella yeah absolutely um, so I'm really excited. I'm hoping to bang it out. I figured like maybe two weeks or three weeks after, if I don't relapse into uh, my Coke zero addiction. Yeah. So is that, and would you that, say that the Coke is but, your, your biggest addiction? Is that the thing that you're really trying to fast food and chips is probably the worst, mm-hmm. but, um, the last six months of my life, I just nonstop Coke. Like, I don't understand. I don't know what happened. I would have like a couple cans during the day of the regular red stuff. And then like I would, I'd bang out a, a two liter bottle of Coke zero at night because I thought it was like, you know, better for me. Yeah. I was lying to my like loved ones. They, they'd they be like, where'd the Coke zero go? And I'm like, oh, I spilled it. Oh, I'm really clumsy. Like for the, so the last six months was really when I developed that addiction on top of all the other stuff. That's when I was like, Oh my gosh, if I don't get myself in a cage, it's over for me. Yeah. So is this is this all real? Is this all genuine from you? Because it I go 100 Yeah. I go back and forth go with you, go Johnny. 
I get, sometimes I feel like, man, yeah. this is, he seems earnest. He seems legit about it. And then sometimes it seems like, no, nah, this is all a joke. This is all him just playing around. And I can't figure you out. I, I think it's because, like, I, I, I goof around a lot. I think because, mm. like, I'm kind of funny. Like, anyone who knows me knows that, like, there's no difference between me in the cage and, and me in real life yeah. and outside of the cage. I, sw- I swear. I, uh, what, what was it the other day? And I, I, and I love the guy. Nice guy. I don't know his name. But he came over and he was putting, like, a character on. Yeah, yeah, and I was like, "Oh my god, it was so embarrassing." You called him out on it, actually. Yeah, it was bad. You, uh, you, yeah, and I was like, "Oh my god," and the dread I felt, like in my soul and my bones, because I just I can't stand. Is it contrived? Can I say that word again? Contri- I don't like. I didn't like the force, like how forced it was, and I. I that's just not me. Yeah, so, and dude, I'm not kidding. Like, I know this seems like a joke, but like, I have not kissed that bowl in uh, 18 days i've not had that pizza shawarma white sauce dripping down my throat i haven't had a dorito like I, i'm telling you i haven't had a sip of pop i did the one day about a weekend we had a competition for five bucks i put the pop in my mouth i'd splish it around and spit it out as like a temptation thing yeah i didn't even like the taste anymore yeah and like i have lost so much weight uh, it's and you know, I'm going for this whole, this is a positive thing and you got to experience all the emotions that life gives you and blah, blah, blah. I say that all the time. I truly mean that. Like I, I've never been more zenned out in my life. Yeah. So the book thing, that's real. You're actually, you're intending to write it. Cause that, I think that's one of the things some people don't quite believe. Well, if I fail, if I start, mm-hmm. if I like, start eating wendy's the day i get out of here because it would be unfair to write the book oh yeah no i agree with that i was just curious because you you said it's 69 chapters and 420 words per chapter i don't know who where the 420 oh okay that's not i thought that came from you no so that came like i think as like kind of like a meme within the chat i don't know if it's going to be 69 chapters i mean they're going to be really short chapters then but we'll like i just i'm kind of joking around with that but i totally intend on writing the book i want it on the shelves by december and like i said cage on stage my friend i want to get there i want to get the cage on stage at ellen because you've seen me on I, i like dance around a bit you know People think I should be on Dr. Phil, but like that's way too Dr. Chill for me. Uh, I really want to get up there, get that cage on stage. And uh, she hasn't responded to any of my. Are you reaching out to her? Increase. Yeah. Have we reached out to her? Yeah. Um, I've told a lot of people too. I think we sent her. We someone, sent the press release. The, no, the trailer. Someone added yeah. that. We've sent we've sent it to everyone, but no one really cares. I sent an email to Nike, yeah, and I told them like I'm ready, like I'm I'll never wear Adidas again. And they said, no, you have to be a Nike boy from the beginning. Me, I'm both, <laughs> but they don't like. Uh, well, they don't make. I guess can't be by the same way, do they? Well. Yeah. No, but I, I think the the I lo- I love a nice tracky. Um, shout out to Throbbers, uh, who uh, is a young boy from Manny. He he had the best quote in the chat. I asked him if he had a, any track suits, and he said, "The only time I take my tracky off is when I want to flex the belt." And I just I loved that. <laughs> and uh, I do think that the trackies are getting way too popular. Um, and uh, so I think I do want to transition into uh, the Nike ones because they're a little more low key. Mm. You know, let me uh, let me catch up with the chat real quick. People got some questions for you. Yeah, uh, mine is all freaking out. <laughs> North Ca- uh, North Canadian friend says that you should watch Venom, which I hear is garbage. So I don't know if I would trust him or not. I heard that too, and I can't stand superhero movies. Oh my god, I just can't do it. it, it I I don't know. I want to be destroyed as a human being at the end of a movie. I want to see like I don't know. Every movie to me should be Schindler's List. You just really like the Holocaust? No, I don't. I don't. Who likes? I don't like the Holocaust. I like the the dramatic. The the. You know what? I like the Siege of Javitville. I saw that one lately. Did you see that one yet? No. There's a whole genre of uh, movies of uh, white dudes with guns, and they're in like a they're like a Black Hawk Down. Yeah. Those movies, Soldiers. I know they're so. They're, I I wrestle with it. 
but like there's always it's like a thousand brown people running at them and like 15 white dudes and like five of them die okay yeah and like there's a whole genre of that and uh, i i hate because I, I think of myself as a woke boy i try to never sleep so i hate that i like those movies too and siege of javitville was a, a new one on netflix that i thought was pretty good but i like to be destroyed after a movie like yeah. i like uh you like dramas you like yeah stuff yeah. like that yeah um, yeah so action movies i just can't do it <laughs> Yeah, I agree. I think they have to be they have to be layered. I don't I don't enjoy the ones that are one note. I don't enjoy just like strictly comedies. I don't enjoy strictly action. I don't enjoy strictly drama. I like ones that are can take things and naturally put them into the story. Transcend. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, like I like that the second Batman with the Joker. The who, Dark Knight. Yeah. The Joker guy. I, Heath Ledger. Yeah, the Dark Knight. The Dark. Yeah, Heath. Good old Ledger. Um, he uh, he put himself in isolation for two weeks and then went nuts. I mean that sucks for him, but I'm putting a th- I'm putting thirty days. So movie offers, bring them. <laughs> well, he yeah, also did Hollywood, a lot of drugs. He did a lot of drugs when he did that. I think that was more of his issue. He, was, he did. Oh, he like just did drugs in his room. Yeah, he was taking sleeping pills, like the hardcore ones. Oh, damn. And uh, oh, the oxys. It was an oxy, but and I don't remember the name, but it was like really intense, like uh, sleeping pills. And when you do that for long enough, you just your mind breaks because it never gets a break. Um, yeah, drugs are scary. I used to do medical testing, and uh, that was scary. That was scary. I hated that. Yeah, you should. <laughs> that sounds not. Yeah, good. Well, I, I, I collapsed on the floor and started uh, rolling around. And they kicked me out, but I made a lot of money. Yeah. Because they're trying to kill you. I'm not you. making that up. Everyone's no, I believe you. Up. Uh, That's the thing. I was, and I was just getting a needle. I was putting the IV in and I passed out. So, <laughs> but um, I know I'm so embarrassed. Uh, okay, wait. Uh, yeah, so I liked that movie when it came to the superhero movies. But then I saw the third one uh, of the Batman, The Darkest of the Nights. Um, and yeah, Dark they looked Rises. like they were using cap guns. Uh, like the, the the cops were shooting cap guns and no blood. I need blood in a movie. Yeah, there was no blood, but that's because it's PG thirteen. PG boring. <laughs> um, let, so, any more questions from the chat? Yeah. So, uh, North Canadian friend wants to know if you saw Convoy from seventy nine. From nineteen seventy nine. Yeah, eighteen seventy nine. Oh. Did movies? Wait, no, no I have 19, no idea. What 1979. That, no. 1979. 1979? No, I, I, I also find it hard to watch old movies unless it's like the classics. Yeah. Bruce uh, Cassidy. Nice Bike That's says. The 70s, right? 30 days is a long joke. We believe in Johnny. He is our Moses part in the seas of soda to guide us on his journey. Thank you. I'm, I'm humbled, but I feel great from that. Thank you so much. How do you feel about your chat? your your followers your loyal fans i love them actually honestly i've made like some of the best friends some of my best friends are now uh internet people that i don't know their names i just know their usernames like and some people came in hot and you know tried to troll me you know tried to leak my address and posted uh the names of every person i've ever met in my life which was really scary and then they later we just accepted them in our community. We said, hey, we're not going to be scared of you. We love you. Join us. Quit soda with us. And I swear, I, some of my best friends are them now. What is, is Johnny Later your best friend now? He's been I your... have no idea who that guy is. <laughs> He's been your no, biggest no troll, movies. right? Well, I, I, I've never had someone impersonate me. So that was weird. When I was watching it and he was doing like my mannerism stuff, that was like... I almost had like a out of body experience. So that was weird. I have no idea who he is. We, everybody thinks that we're behind it. This is a one shop or one, uh, one horse operation here. We don't have the time to run an entire another channel, especially one that gets like, uh, it, Oh, for the viewers or the listeners, the podcast listeners, there's a parody guy. Uh, he's parodying me. He thinks he's Johnny from the future. And, he gets spit on and stuff in his videos and hamburgers thrown at his face and hot shot, like hot sauce yeah. dunked down his throat. So he's he way better content than me. Hats off to him, Johnny. 
The but, uh, I remember the first day he went on, your internet went down right when he came on, which seemed and like everybody thought that was me. Yeah, but my internet goes down so much. Like, oh, if only my wife went down as much as my internet. Oh, gross! Come on, come on. This is a PG show, right? Yeah, this is G actually. Yeah, G. Oh, G. Nice. Okay, sorry about that. Um, no, you're good. Uh, but oh, I just God, I've had to yell. I've yelled. I felt so bad. I have to yell at my. I got my money back for the month, but it goes down. I'm surprised the internet's not down right now. Every minute is a blessing. Yeah. Like it, life. Like life. That is true, Johnny. Very Do you think uh, my life is a lot like, oh yeah, I'm here to inspire. Do you think uh, my life is a lot like the Truman Show? Um, No, I don't. Damn. Sorry. Uh, I think the Truman oh, honestly, Show, <laughs> the, I think the difference is you... Well, one, for sure, you know what's going on, right? You've done it yourself. You know, you're aware of what's happening. And then two- I consented to this. Yeah. And two, you enjoy the intention, right? The attention. Um, a couple times I was posted on forums on the internet that I used to enjoy looking at and laughing along with until I became the center of, I like lost control of like, my emotions and my bowels that was the scariest so i don't know if i like the attention so much i like the attention obviously like who doesn't like attention but some of the attention has been pretty scary and listen to those guys on that website i have nothing to do with bully hunters i have a, no idea why you guys think i'm part of like some conspiracy to stop bullying I, like ask some of the people that i've turned on <laughs> Uh, I'm not, I have, there's no money behind it. People think this is a commercial or something. So they want to like, I don't know, leak my address and, you know, put a pipe bomb in my mailbox. That's not true. But other than that, I, I like the, I like the community we created here and who doesn't like attention, right? Yeah. I think everyone on the internet loves attention. I'm like, like a little newborn. I just want to be hugged. <laughs> why do they think that it's uh a commercial for things. I know why I think it's a commercial for things. It's because you never want to take off your wait, Coke wait, labels. Who, who, wait, wait, I don't want to take off my what? Coke oh, labels? The labels? Yeah. I think oh, you well, I, I think you're secretly the CEO of Coke. And uh Oh my god. CEO of that real Coke. No, no way. I don't do that <laughs> stuff. But um no, I took the labels off a few of them. I was ripping them off in like a protest, but I don't know. I'm not gonna say like if Coke came to me tomorrow and offered me $250,000 and said, you know, replace those bottles with Pepsi, would I do it? I don't know. You 100% would do. You would do it for I, sure. I'm not sure. I, you I'm kissed sure. it for a dollar. I did kiss <laughs> Coke for a dollar. Yes. Well, I got to pay rent. I took a month <laughs> off for this. I got to pay rent. So I don't know. And you know what? I owe a lot to Coke. My grandpa, and we're not going to talk about what he did during the war and because that's not important. But before that, he during the Depression, he worked for Coke and he survived the Depression because of Coke. So I owe a lot to Coke. But, um, you know, his war record doesn't need to be brought up anymore. I brought it up too many times. Yeah. I don't know much about your grandfather, but I trust you. Uh, and well, Dean, I mean, it's a different time then, you know, who, whose side is right, who's wrong. I mean, did he have to shoot that guy? I mean, his own teammate back in the training base. I'm not sure, but I don't understand. Okay, it's a different time. But so I owe it to Coke. I know I'm not a Black Mirror commercial. Uh, I've seen one of those episodes, the one where the pig gets stuffed by the mayor or something. Yeah. And people think that like, but I, no, this is such a... a a child's run operation my internet goes down like a, like a lady of the night like constantly so i'm not please stop trying to murder me parts of the internet because i'm not a fraud i'm 100 percent serious are you actually concerned about some of the attention you're getting like does some of it actually scare you it it in the beginning it scared me but now it's like whatever i live in a cage kill me <laughs> <laughs> like so i don't know I, I i'll tell you though i it, whatever i'm not worried about the attention and i get most of the trolling it's just fun but i hate technology now like everything has failed me like my ipad i didn't even know how to change the uh the rotate screen i like i'm so ready after this i'm only doing 30 days people want me to keep streaming i want to go to the middle of the woods and put 
bear mating material all of my body and just get eaten by a bear that's like honestly i've had been so sick of technology i'm ready to like just never i don't know i don't know yeah so there's that i don't know how to respond to that that's I don't. <laughs> stressed very stressed out uh and dean wants to know if you're going to get help writing your book uh actually there's a really nice guy who has offered me to help me on the book and i want i don't know if i'll say his name or not because i don't really know the full username but i will definitely he did offer and he said i'm very good at writing and we got off to a bad start i kind of bullied him a bit and now we are friends again and i really appreciate him and he offered to help me so i might give that guy a shout because i am 100 percent dyslexic as well as yeah. being 100 serious yeah i oh my god the flashcards I had to do my entire life. I, you know what? I went to special school. They switched me in grade four, they or grade five, and I, I got a bus. I'd never been on a bus, and you know how like kids like us, we get excited about buses, trains, planes, stuff like that, right? Garbage trucks. So I was so excited to go on a bus, and it wasn't a short bus. So I was like, oh my god, yes! But because there was only so many kids on the bus in the special class. They wouldn't. They made us treat it like a short bus. We could only go halfway. Oh, like yeah. how is how like how is that for a kid's confidence? Like you're so excited to sit in the back of the bus, be the cool kid, and then you you're told this is a short bus because you're going to the short school. They called it the short Very school. Tragic. No, we, the uh, we called it. Um, I'm not going to say what we called it because it it's a word that you're not allowed to use anymore. But I mean, I was in that, I, I was in that. So it's my word, but I'm, it's, it's rude to some people. Yeah. So you grew Starts up in Canada, R. right? Yes. I'm ethnically Canadian. Yeah. Yes. But you're in the States now. Jersey, baby. I love Jersey. It's where my heart belongs with my soul. I'm not a New York city guy. I don't like canal street. Uh, it's too crowded. Me. I like, you know, I like the flash. I like the, the bakeries, the pork shops, you know, oh, I just love it. I'm not going to say what city, so I don't get murdered, but yeah. What's your address? I'm in Jersey. Oh, uh, it's 69, <laughs> uh, bone road. I don't know. Um, where are you? Your, what, uh, what's your background? I'm in Thailand. American, I'm assuming? Yeah. I'm an American. Yes. I grew up in California in the desert. Oh, gnarly. And then nice. uh, in moved. the desert. Yeah. The, there's a, like Southern California, right on the edge between North and South. There's a desert. The current, nice. the, yeah. And uh, I hate my ancestors so much. Um, because okay. they when they came over to kill the natives and stuff, they they stopped in Canada. They stopped in Canada. Like two weeks in a mule, we would have been in California. I'd be chilling on the beach. I probably wouldn't have this addiction. But no, I they stayed here where they it's cold. So you got your whole Most family line can't. has just always been in Canada. And you guys didn't move around. Well, said they. Well, when they came over, Canada's only like a hundred years old or something, right? So whenever they came over to claim that land that uh, was already claimed, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I, I wish I wish they kept going. Like what? Like you could what? You couldn't have sucked it up for another month and uh, made it to California. You and I could have like been buds. Yeah. No, I agree. Canada sucks. I'm, Canada, hundred well, percent. I, I don't want to say it sucks. I, I can but get like, behind that message, Johnny. Canada is the worst. I, I agree with yeah, you. Yeah. Everything you're saying. I will say it's oh, yes. Okay, fine. I will say it does kind of suck. The the reason why Canada sucks, and I love Canada. And listen, Trudeau, I would. Oh my God, the things I would do to you. It's true. It's all true. No, but I I like I love Canada. But it's time we join America. Our entire culture is based on we're not America and America doesn't even think about us. So it's time we'll be the 50 whatever state there are in Canada or America. And then what, what I think, what do we got? Two million people here. Everybody says like, oh, the politics suck in America. Politics suck in America. But if we joined, I think we're 20 million. What are, how, how many people? Live in yeah, Canada? you got like 28 million. Something like that. So people go, why? We can't join America. That's tw If we're so woke and liberal, then that's. 28 more million for the demos. Hillary would have got in. So I'm, I think you guys should annex us. It's time. Send in the troops, my friend. I wouldn't take. A little take, revenge for the White House. We'll just send in Wisconsin. You don't want us? No, I said it wouldn't take much. We'd you just, don't want us? I don't know. I, oh. It wouldn't take much. Maine, they could take us over. 
Oh yeah. Um, I could do it. Oh see. my gosh, I'm ready. Let me catch up with chat a little bit more. I'm gonna get written about in the paper. Oh, the National Post is gonna be so mad at me. I'm sorry, Canada. I love you. People are calling you the Joker. People are saying the Illuminati <laughs> is confirmed. Uh, I am Illuminati, if you know what I mean. Uh, okay, Qu- come on. Queen says she wishes you were the CEO of Coke. So what what's going on with that? Oh my God. With you and your sister, how do, how does she feel about you? What's her impression of you? Well, she loves me. We're half sister, but this isn't Cruel Intentions, my friend, which is another good movie. Um, a little dated now, but um, the soundtrack, Placebo, very good. Um, uh, well, she hates it. This is a lot more work. Um, and like I said, chapter two, you need to get a handler and you need to get a good one. And I figured whoever, uh, you know, this program appeals to, they probably live with somebody like maybe their parents then, and you're already probably like a burden on them. So just ask them for a month of their lives, but it is hard. Like I am very like snappy in here cause I can't do, I want to do everything, uh, like right away, but I'm in yeah, a cage. Like, you I yelled at me today. Them, so. I, oh, I, everyone thinks I'm yelling at them, but I really <laughs> didn't mean to. I, I was really losing control of my chat today. I tried to set up a, a, a hierarchy system to be nice, and they were going crazy. So when I saw you, I was like, come on, let's go, let's go, so I could get away from that insanity. I apologize. No, I hope no, you, no worries. I will fly to Thailand and give you a back rub. I'm good. I don't, that's okay. That would, be, that would make our relationship worse. Make it work. I don't know, man. You haven't felt these hands. <laughs> but I, I want to know what Queen. How what's Queen's impression? What does she feel about it? Queen, um, is, Queen is her username. If she wants yeah, to. Yeah, Queen. I call her. Do you want to pop in? She. There's a question. You want to answer? I don't know if she can hear me. Uh, yeah. Sure. Did you hear? Yeah, I'm listening. It's a little behind, but um, yeah, this is a lot. A lot. Um, a lot more work than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> um, so when we first started this, obviously I assumed everything would be on Johnny and I'd just be like helping out with a few of the obvious things that I don't want to say on, uh, on, on, <laughs> I don't really want to talk about the but, poop bucket. Yeah, exactly. But, uh, it's, it's everything else. Like Johnny can't handle any of the tech stuff. So I have to, whenever something breaks down, Johnny has a breakdown as well, yep. and then yells at me, and I fix Yell. it. Well, it's more I strongly worded. Yeah, so <laughs> it's not easy, but yeah. I mean we've committed to it. So <laughs> we're what eighteen it, days in. Is it affecting? Do you stop eating? Oh, actually, yeah. So I've also lost a lot of weight because uh, not we're not sitting on the couch for five hours. Uh, every day just eating junk food because that was my problem too I, I wasn't so big on the pop like Johnny is but or Johnny was but um, definitely I definitely enjoyed those skittles a lot as well so it, there's there's an upside but it's uh it's a lot yeah it's a lot would she recommend it for other people to do would you recommend this um I don't know. Oh my god! You're hurting my book sales. Uh, it's well, it's very, it's a very extreme way to uh, <laughs> kick the junk food habit, but I can say that it's working. So if you do want to go like all the way to this kind of to this level of uh, stopping yourself from getting at the junk food, sure it works. I sh- I should mention the reason why it's thirty days is because I met a guy in a bar. He was drinking pints eat matzo sticks and he said it takes 30 days to create new habits so that's why I'm, it's that i'm not torturing her for 30 days for fun that's that's why yeah right but well, you, apparently it's 21 but oh well, apparently it's 21 i should have done some googling yeah. i really put in, i really did not do a lot of uh um uh, research into this i'm more of a zero to 100 kind of guy so yeah like my fast food addiction like i will just eat and eat and eat until i throw up so that's um, what have you, is there any joy you've gotten out of this, uh, queen? Uh, well, I do. I do also love the people in the chat. Like, I feel like you guys are like friends now. Uh, she likes so shore me. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's, that's definitely a, an upside. And it's nice to see Johnny, like, like he's always been a pretty entertaining 
guy. So it's good to see him kind of doing his thing on cam. Tears of a clown. <laughs> who who I has it worse? I don't know. Who's who this harder for? I, uh, I think I have it worse. Oh, Self-centered. Uh, <laughs> explain. Uh, well, again, even though Johnny's the one in the cage, like I still have to make sure he t- <laughs> he has everything he needs. Yeah. So I, yeah, I'm picking up all the extra slack. What did you do to get her to commit to doing this, Johnny? How did you convince her to help you out? Oh, that, we that, share an apartment. So I kind of just <laughs> bamboozled her into it. You just forced and I her into it. promised her wealth and riches, and we've gotten none of those. Yeah. And like, we, I like, I pass my addiction on to her because because she'll come home from work and I'm just sitting there with that Cali green, you know, and I'm just and I just surrounded by Doritos, and of course she's gonna have a she's gonna indulge. So it was, I think it was bad for you too for a while. Not as bad as me. I was like really bad. I I don't want to be gross, but like I hadn't had a solid bowel movement in like a year, and now I'm like they say in Cuba, we go to Cuba all the time once a day like a duck and now well I, past couple of days haven't been once but it's that's one benefit sorry you want to say something uh no 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 it's not it's not good no 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 no, no. i i kind of forgot what I was she forgot what she was gonna say but i i don't know how many times have i cried once on cam your uh yeah your emotions have been a lot more uh they're, they've been exaggerated for sure oh my at midnight is when we shut the stream off and like 1201 it's just like I'm just in tears sometimes. That what? is one thing I'll say. So uh, we were planning on doing this for 24 hours. And then the first day we found out that Twitch would, won't let you sleep and stream. But um, as much as like people think that like he leaves the cage after midnight, whatever, he doesn't. But um, I am kind of glad that we have to shut the stream off because just being on camera for just having, like we can't have a single private conversation. So being able to shut down the stream and actually like, write a couple of emails or like talk about, you know, what we have to do candidly. Um, Not sexually. It's not, no. you, sound, you sound like you're saying no. sexually. No. Candidly? Just, yeah. Having oh a God. candid conversation. <laughs> I don't, half, we're half, 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 half related. Half I disagree half. with okay. the sexual thing. Oh, I <laughs> candid to me sounds, you know, dirty. Oh, but uh, yeah, that's exactly like, thank gosh we have this, uh, um, the little time and it is not even that much time by the time we write the emails, you know, bother Ellen's people and stuff like it's two, it can be two thirty, and then I'm in bed. I'm like, I just right away crash. And all of a sudden, like we're back and it was really bad. Cause I don't know, as a California dude, you probably indulged in that, uh, Turkmenistan arugula. I actually, a few times, I, right? I haven't, but I Oh, thank God. Don't do it. They, people say that stuff is not addictive. And I say, what happened to the last 10 years of my life? Okay. Well, like, it's just been a cloud. The, well, I don't know if, how serious this is, but the. Well, it's, it's 100% serious. No, I don't know how serious you're being. I'm saying. One. Yeah. Okay. So I'll answer you like you're being serious is my point. The sure, yeah. marijuana isn't actually addictive. It's if you have an addictive personality. And so that's always uh, been one of my concerns with your stream is that are you replacing an addiction of sugar, coke, weed with an addiction for attention, with an addiction for doing stuff on stream instead of, you know what I'm saying? You'll guess, I guess you'll have to find out in, <clears throat> into the cage for yourself from within book two. I don't know, maybe, <laughs> that's true. But oh, what I meant to say is like uh, the first couple of weeks, like if you quit that stuff, your dreams are like, your principal from high school murdering your family. Like it's like so graphic. You yeah. can Google it. That's true. So that was like horrible. Now I just, I'm, that's out of my brain. Thank, thank Lord. Um, but like, we're just like, f- it's all of a sudden we're back up and I got to stream for 16 hours a day again. And like, thankfully I've gotten so lucky. Like we've always found content, but every day I'm just panicking. Like, what am I going to say? What am I going to do? They're going to see through this and see that I'm just a clown, but I'm not. What do you? So, are, what are you? What would you say you Johnny are? Johnny now. Oh, what am that? I? Oh, I don't know. I, I think I'm just like a fun guy who, you know, I accept everybody. I want to get on Ellen. I don't know. I'm pretty, I'm like a chill dude, yeah. I think. Um, uh, and I'll tell you the first night, and you can back me up on this, right? Back me up. The first night... 
I was so tired. Mm-hmm. And I said, even you said, why don't you just go to your bed? Yeah. And I, th- and I thought about it. I really thought about it and I didn't do it. And I'm so glad. Oh I'm no. So like glad. you have never, you have never <laughs> left this cage. Well, that's well, not, not true. Yeah. Because one time. That's not true. The sure. one time because, uh, yeah. And I shouldn't mention this for your loyal viewers, uh, listeners. Cause there's a, there's a podcast. It's so cool to be on a podcast. Thank you. That, this is really awesome. Joe Rogan's next, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Joe, yeah. Joe you, Rogan. You're picking fights with Joe Rogan on your stream. Uh, that ever come to fruition? Rogan. That guy's a jog. No, I, I like Rogan. He's a nice guy. Um, uh, I, but I will fight Philip DeFranco. Uh, any spot. We can do cage, street. It's up to you, my friend. As long as it's live streamed, uh, accept the challenge. But um, wait. The we, yeah, the shower. So the shower. Yeah, you knew I forgot. I was like, what are you talking so about? You, uh, uh, in my, on my main page, you can either reward me or you can penalize me. And... Uh, so for example you can buy me a coffee or you can make me wear um oven mitts for 15 minutes or you can make me listen to umbop for uh 29 uh times in a row it's a five minute song do the math it was a long day but uh one i ha- one generous man named ice cream boy and actually serial gamist was it gay or who was last night uh, nudist yes. nudist user nudist uh, i um, gave me a hundred bucks and a hundred bucks i I'm granted time stops and I get a three minute actual shower. Now the one from ice cream boy, he said to take a 10 minute shower. That's what was his stipulation. So I did leave the cage once to take a shower. It was the best shower of my life. It was on day 13, I think. And it was, Oh my God, it was beautiful. How come you didn't build your cage around your bathroom? Oh, I didn't want to spread germs. No, I don't know. It's a small (laughs) bathroom. I, know, I never even thought about that, actually. You should have just connected it that. to the door. Yeah, but my bathroom's done like a weird hallway thing, but that is something that I would have, yeah. I, I wouldn't be able to go to that. Yeah, then, then uh, Queenie over here would be her, able to go to the bathroom. Tell her just to go outside. It's for just the cost. go outside like a dog. <laughs> no, I'm telling you, Amazon, I know people are wondering how to, uh, and like I said, I don't want to make this the poopy and pee stream, yeah. but there are products on Amazon that, you know, you get it, you get a good handler, and like the risk for the plague, cholera, it's all very, very little. Yes, I have a rash on my face and people think it's related to that, but it, I don't think, I think Dr. Murphy uh, thinks that it's a, it's just detoxing. Yeah, well, it could be stress too, right? Like, how's your stress level yeah. being in there? You're not getting it's a lot horrific. of getting a lot of sun. You're not moving around enough. It's got to be tough. I, I'm right? getting. Yeah, I'm taking di- vitamin D, and I'm not the good vitamin D either. Ugh, I wish I'm craving that. Oh, come on! But uh, I like yeah. The stress levels are high. Like it's. I'm getting better at it. Um, the first, again, the first two or the first week in a bit. Like I was just so my throat. Like I've said a thousand times in the chat, felt like uh, someone had rammed a hot dog down my throat, um, you know, in Yankee Stadium under the bleachers. Like it was, but now I'm, I think I'm adjusting better. But the stress is bad. I look outside and like I'm a bit of a D bag, right? So I like dressing up flashy. I have so many coats. Like the fall is my time to shine when it comes to like sartorial choices. And I'm looking outside and I'm seeing people and they're not, they're not smiling. They're set because they're cold. Or I see the cool ones with the nice jackets and I just get so jealous. I wish I could just go walk and get a coffee. I miss like getting like, I get like male cat called all the time, but like, honestly, and I never thought I'd miss that, but I'm like, I even miss that. Yeah. So the- my stress is high, I think. Is there anything else that you would like to share that you feel like you haven't really, I know you get 16 hours a day, so I'm sure there's not a ton. Um, well, like I said, I want to get on Ellen. I think that is like her and I would, you know, we're very similar. Um, I don't want to go on the couch, like some pleb, like Adam Levine or some, you know, uh, soldier being re- reunited. And I love the troops. Don't get me wrong, but I don't want to go on. I want to go on that stage. I want to, I really think, her audience met like her audience have probably have sons and daughters that should get into a cage to help themselves out. And like, I know everyone thinks this is a joke, but like, if I can turn this into like a worldwide movement, buy some land in Pennsylvania, uh, open up a mega church, preach. I want to see like a, a hundreds of cages of people changing their lives. Like 
that's I, I mean I know that sounds crazy and it's and kind of weird, but it, I think I could change some lives. Like I want a chicken in every pot and a cage in every living room in this fine, fine land of ours. You 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 really mean that? You think that's that would be beneficial to people? Hey, I'm telling you, I've never looked better. I mean, other than the rash on my face and the two black eyes, which I can't figure out. But uh, like I have, like right, right. She's not listening. Um, well, we're behind. I've lost like I'm looking good. Oh yeah, you've lost weight for sure. I like. I feel like I actually think I'm. I might. These addictions will be done. I'm yeah. thinking positive. I'm thinking forward instead of back. Before I was stuck in like a cloud of negativity. Yeah. Now I'm like. You should be mm-hmm. careful with that mindset of being done with your addictions, though, because that's generally when you get tripped up again. Yeah, do you think so? Like that's you're worried I'm gonna I'm addicted to the internet now, right? Well, yeah, I think you've replaced an addiction for another, but the it's generally people relapse into an addiction when they feel like they've conquered it because they put their guard down. Oh, well, that's true. I, okay, I will take that. Um, but I'll tell you the one thing about like the food addiction and the pop addiction um, versus the internet addiction. Mm-hmm. I don't think the internet addiction will give me colon cancer. No, but it could keep you so inside like, for 30 days straight. I'm almost done. I got, wait, is it past nine? It's past nine. I'm on day 19. Woo! Come on, chat. Give me a little love. I'm on day 19. So what do I got? 11 days left? 11 days. I got this. I got this. This is going to be great. All right, what, what's the first thing you're doing when you get out? We, I'm popping a bottle of champagne and sitting there looking at me. We're going to have a party. Uh, I'm going to – I don't know. I, I, what am I going to do? It's going to be 9 at night when I get out. I'll probably keep the stream going for a bit. Maybe I'll hop right into the shower. Yeah. Um, pop that champagne. Um, I don't know. I mean, call the last remaining members of my family that still talk to me and try to get like some kind of love out of it. <laughs> I, I don't know. I've yeah. gone outside. I don't know. Put, oh my God. I want to put jeans on. I, I've been wearing trackies and I love trackies. Don't get me wrong. But most of the time I wear trackies. I I'm like a sauna boy. Hmm. I spend most of my time in the sauna. I joined a social club. It's like, it's like just all old Italian men in the sauna and, and nude. I know it sounds weird, but it's like, it's my sanctuary. I want to, I can't wait to go back there. Yeah. And then like, maybe I'll wear a trackie there, throw some jeans. Like I want jeans so bad. I want to like, I want to flex. Well, I'm going to see, I'm trying to reach out to Johnny later. See if I can talk to him. Is there anything you want to say? Is he on right now? Oh no. Well, not right now. I'm just saying a similar way to this, doing a podcast with him. But is there any, don't give him that attention. I'm curious to see why he's doing it and what he's doing, what he thinks. Cause he wants the clout, I think. But isn't that he's, you know, isn't that kind of hypocritical to say? Isn't that what you're doing? I say more clout, less gout. And that's referencing to me losing weight. Oh, no, I totally. If you want to rip this idea off, if we want to get the cage challenge, go right ahead. I totally get it. And you know what? I actually think Johnny later is pretty funny. So is there anything that you would want to know from him? That was uh, how is he selling those T-shirts for so much less than me? Uh, we... We ran the numbers. We tried to keep ours as low as possible. And I, how is he doing that? He really hurt my brand there because people are like, wow, his shirts look better. Um, and he's got four cameras running. Like, how, I, can, I can barely get this one to work uh, on a daily basis. How is he doing that? That's what I want to know. Yeah. Well, Johnny, I appreciate and you coming you, on. I hope, I hope you had a good time. Sorry, this was it. awesome. I really enjoyed this podcast. Please send me the link. I want to hear your other ones. I think your life is so cool. I want to be uh, more a part of it. Again, if I can just say one last thing, please check out Johnny underscore now on twitch.tv. Again, this is a 30-day self-improvement program designed to get you off that gunk, that disgusting fast food, that pop. We're taking this to the moon, my friends. We're taking down Big Soda. We're going on Ellen, and it, it's we're going to change the world and stay positive. Yeah, definitely Thank check them so out. Much. It's a lot of fun. The chat it gets crazy. Um, but, yeah, Johnny, you always seem to have a good attitude most of the time until you start yelling at me about I, I apologize. You sound too very sensitive about that. I'm not, I think maybe I'm not. I'm not sensitive at all. I just think okay. it's funny. You know what, your what reaction. I, I, will, I will never put myself in a cage like that. I don't. I don't see that. Oh, I, 
you don't see the value that's fine that's no, fine all artists sorry. supposed to be subjective and i'm no artist but um well that so that's uh, the thing right i i struggle I, i'm always confused by your stream because you say it's art and but you say it's self-help and i i but see like, i see artists, both i see both in you but they seem to conflict at the same time well i don't like artists to be honest but like and most art to me is like i don't understand it or care but i do think like if you treat yourself as the canvas you know you can you, then you're the art and uh that's why i like to be flashy that and i'm a bit of a d-bag but yeah. um I, I feel you got more to say i feel like you brought the knife out there a second ago and, and please stab it in i'm ready brought the knife what do you mean well, I thought you said like I, I can't see myself in a cage. This would never work. Like if you got if I didn't say it would never work. I don't. I don't think that this is the best way to handle uh, self control. I think. Well, I know there's doctors for that. Yeah, I think that's probably if. Like I said, if you're addicted to that China white, uh, the Bolivian marching powder, fentanyl, Fred, uh, get yourself into a real program. But and like I, this is just for the little stuff. I think I would also say that I've I've held that view in your chat and in this conversation the entire time. That I, I think okay, that, yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Just wanted to make sure I wanted to, I don't want to leave any page unturned, much like my book, uh, when you guys read it, into the cage for yourself and within. So if you I that's why I just wanted to make sure. And again, I'm sorry I was rude to you before. No, I, I'm just high stress I, level. I think your reaction is funny. That's why I keep bringing it up. Okay, good. Okay, good. Because <clears throat> uh I like what I've learned on the internet is that they're gonna say they're gonna stab you in the eye. They're going to post all your info. They're going to take your credit card. Just, you got to let, just, just laugh it off. Yeah. Yeah. People are mean exactly. on the internet. They They're are. also hilarious too, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I, I think this is tough and making me tougher. I mean, I look tough in life. I drink black coffee, but I'm a house of cards. So this is really, uh, this is making me tougher as well. So the benefits never end. You read about it in my book, Into the Cage, Free Yourself from Within. Well, again, Johnny, I really appreciate it. I had a good time talking to you. I hope it was fun for this you. This was hope, awesome. Hopefully I didn't come on too harsh or anything. I, that wasn't my intention. I wish you came on me more. I mean, <laughs> I mean, sorry, that was, again, I'm sorry. All right, this was awesome. Thank you so much. Queen, do you want to say goodbye quickly? Bye, thanks. You rule, dude. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. I love you. We'll see you around, my friend. And right. viva Mexico. I love Mexico. I got like a thousand Mexican followers, so. Let's, we're tearing that wall down and putting a cage up. All right. Thanks a lot. All right. Thanks, Johnny. You, you rule, dude. Thank you.